For a long, long time, Old Lady Sulphur has lived in her cozy little cottage on Element Hill in Periodic Tabletown. Although she's well known around town, she looked kind of weird and she was stinky, which caused people to think negative thoughts about her. No one liked her based on her appearance without even getting to know her. She began to feel a sense of loneliness as if she wasn't complete. So, she decided to go to the pet store in search of a companion to complete her. She first stumbles upon an aviary-themed store and ponders in. She first stepped up to the birdcage where she saw Potassium the parrot. Aw, you're so cute, but I don't think you're good enough. Now that I'm thinking about it, a bird isn't a good enough pet for me. You don't complete me. I'm going to go somewhere else. As she was walking through the village, she could tell that everyone was looking at her weird, and she could see all the people cover their noses as she walked past. She didn't care, though, because she knew she was going to find a companion. Then, she noticed a farm auction happening in the middle of the village. She saw Carbon the cow and debated whether she liked him or not. You definitely seem too big to be a pet. And even if you were smaller, taking care of a cow was too much for a little old lady like me. As she continued to walk, she thought having a nice little hamster guinea pig would be quite cute. So, she headed to the rodent store. As soon as she walked into the store, she saw that this was a very run-down pet store. There was one cage in the entire building with two hamsters in it. The cage had two hydrogen hamsters in it that were clearly wanting to be adopted. However, when Old Lady Sulphur stepped forward, she noticed that they were bonded. She knew if she took one, she'd have to take the other. These two hamsters represent two atoms of hydrogen. Because hydrogen only wants one more valence electron, the two atoms decide to covalently bond, meaning that they share electrons. You guys are so cute, but I don't think I can take care of two pets. Poor old lady Sulphur was beginning to think she'd never find the perfect companion and was losing hope rapidly, until suddenly she turned around the corner and saw a stray dog. She stepped closer and felt an instant connection. She had found Radium the Retriever, and the two were made for each other. Radium was not an attractive dog, to say the least. He was all scruffy and had hair all over. Someone had clearly mistreated him in the past, and for that, they left him as a stray. Old Lady Sulphur then took the leash and attached it to Radium's collar and held it with care. They were bonded and could not be broken up. They both felt completed in every possible way and knew that they belonged together. Old Lady Sulphur and Radium the Retriever had ionically bonded. Old Lady Sulphur was looking for two valence electrons to complete her and make her feel happy, and Radium wanted to give two away. That is why when they found each other, they had an immediate bond. The leash represents how they stay together and they can't separate. As the two walked home together, the whole village were clearly thinking that the two were weird, and the negative thoughts had not gone away. However, that didn't matter to Old Lady Sulphur and Radium, because they had each other, and that's all that mattered. I love you, Radium. Thank you for completing me. I don't know what I would do without you. The two lived a wonderful life together going by the name Radium Sulphide.